I told uh, well, Rostow to get in touch with you so you all could uh, get together sometime during the day. I'll get with you if you need to. If not, why well, you all do it yourself? I don't I don't know who talks to who? I don't anyway. think it's that here. I was going to call you about 5.15 to give you the latest information That's on good. the strike and ask you if I would have permission then to tell <sighs> Walden and George Fall and get the people over here about a quarter of seven. Yeah, that's good. Uh, uh, of course, you want to be sure that you're going when you... Oh, I, that's right. That's, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody until I first talked to you about 5.15. By that time, we'll know a little bit more about the certainty of going, and I haven't told a soul here other than Cy and Buzz. You be sure now that, we, that I'm in this position, that the Joint Chiefs have recommended to me that in the light of the leak, in the light of their checking carefully from the commanders in the field, in light of the military advice that they have themselves chosen the time and right. the planes right. and the the means and the routes and everything else that I've left it entirely up to them to pick the time of their choosing. The policy decision was made, but because it got screwed up uh, with people we couldn't trust, then we told them to pick the time of your choosing, and then you inform us. And. Uh, be sure that I have that kind of a recommendation so that you are clear in the record. Absolutely. I took Cy Vance with me this morning uh, and went down to talk to Buzz and had Cy present when I did and put the question to him exactly that way. I sent down to him the, uh, the 8 a.m. CBS broadcast and I had to let him read it for an hour and then I went, took Cy down and I said, now Buzz, you've seen that, you've read it, I want your official formal recommendation as chairman. I want you to get in touch with Westy first, and then then I, uh, we'll do what you recommend, or at least I will recommend to the president what you recommend. And uh, he got in touch with Westy, and, and he recommends we go. All right, now they they know all these other factors, and we'll, I had him because when they're brought up, you see, we're going to want to have I him. I had him mention those five points to Westy, uh, the five you gave me, right. and he did mention them to Westy, and, and Westy said he didn't think that affected him and his decision in any way. Conceivably, somebody back here might be affected by them, but not him. You get anything on uh, where it got out out there? By the way, we've got Frickland turned off for at least a day. Uh, no, sir, I don't. I, I just can't answer the question. What was Frickland going to write? Well, he was going to write that uh, he was going to write that you first decided to do it and then decided not to, and and because it had, you decided not to because it leaked, and you called the FBI in to investigate. Now, he had the story half written when Cy told, talked to him while I was at lunch. They had discussed it with the editors, uh, Crosby, Noise, and others at the Star. The Star was divided as to whether they should go ahead. Based on size conversation with Frickman, they've agreed to, to at least defer it for a day. Where is that coming from, Eric? I think this must have come out of the Air Force, but I'm not. I'm not sure. It wouldn't very hard now with Jay Lance and uh, uh, the CBS story and others to begin to put this together, and then to go to somebody you've got as a contact here and say, "Well, now look, isn't this true? It's all over the wires," and uh, and then squeeze out a little more. Okay, much better. Thank you. Well, you think you, you, you think I'll your time is right? A quarter after five. All right. Okay.